I have honestly not been this stressed out in a quite some time. Now I try my best not to procrastinate, but uh, that's a complete lie. I procrastinate a lot. As some of you guys know, it's been a hot minute since I've been able to travel. Travel vlogs have been like the main pillar of this channel for quite some time now. Going to Japan, going to the Philippines, and uh, now we finally get to make some new memories together. In this box, we have the LA to Chicago Air Jordan 1, and I think it's very fitting, and it just makes complete sense. This be the sneaker that we bring with us to LA. I don't necessarily have a plan for the trip we are going on. I pretty much bought a one-way ticket, and I'm gonna figure things out as we go. Just gonna bring one one duffel bag right here. We got the one pair of shoes I'm gonna bring, maybe one more, but for now, I, I, I can't slow down and I can't, I can't talk to the camera. I can't talk to you guys right now. So we're gonna have to throw you guys in the bag and I'm going to uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we've made it to California. Unfortunately, we're not in a, we're not in LAX airport. We're not in Los Angeles. I actually flew myself by accident to a completely different airport. I kind of messed up. So to try and save $150, I accidentally flew myself on a different flight that not all the boys are on, and uh, I ended up in Ontario, which is the province I'm from in Canada, Bruh. which is strange. I didn't know there was an Ontario in America. So uh, now we have to pay like a $70 Uber just to get to our uh, Airbnb in downtown LA. It's kind of a rough L to start off the uh, the trip with, but hey, it could be worse. I could have lost my luggage or something. I actually didn't bring any luggage at all or like a check-in luggage. I just have a duffel bag right here with all my goods, a backpack with more camera gear, and hopes and dreams of not taking an L like this again. So yeah, with the uh, Airbnb, apparently my driver's deaf, which will be interesting. All right, so small dilemma because we didn't arrive all in California at the same time. I've arrived actually really early compared to some of the other guys. So uh, I can't even check into the Airbnb until 4 p.m. So we're here at a Starbucks for now. Gotta kill some time. I have some videos I have to edit on my laptop anyways. So we'll get some work done and be productive. And then we'll finally link up with the guys. I think they wanna have some like Five Guys or uh, In-N-Out Burger, something very, very American. All right, we just spent the last couple hours editing some videos at Starbucks, and uh, after a quick little 10-minute walk, we are here at the uh, the Airbnb. It's one of these buildings behind me, so I'm excited to meet the homies. I've only hung out with two of them like for, for just a little bit, so this really is like our first time properly hanging out, and it's gonna be on this fun adventure. I see them right behind me. Let's go say hi. Oh, what's up? Good. It's good. Yo, what's Toronto going on, man? Yeah. Yo, good to see you. Let's go. In LA, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, look how crazy this place looks. This place is cool. I, I, like, the, I like the vibe. Like, Dude, I want to review a sneaker down there. Just right there. The <laughs> Before we get going, I want to introduce you guys to everybody I'm in this house with real quick and also ask them like three quick questions. So, first up, Danny. All right. What shoes did you bring with you on this trip today? Should I show them? Or should yeah, I let's let's see the let's see the shoes real All quick. Right. And then I also want to ask what your uh, your goals or objective is, is with this trip. First time, time in LA. First time in LA. First time in LA. Okay. Stuff okay. Like that. Uh, Travis Fabric brought out some heat. Nice, Wear these. nice. Foam runners. What else? Foam by runners. The door. They're by the door. By the door, okay. I bought the new True Grey Lows. Okay. Can't go wrong. All white. Is there any kind of content you're excited to make while you're in California? Yeah. I want to go sell some Jordans again for just $1. Ooh. I did it before. It did really well. So I think we're going to do it again. Okay, okay. With a twist. With a With twist, a twist this time. I so like that. I like that. Stay tuned. Are you? What Yo, shoes you brought? What shoes you brought? Red toe Air Jordan 1s. I had to bust these out. These things are pretty beast, so I'm gonna have to clean them up. However, I packed light because I did want to pick up multiple pairs here. So I only packed two pairs, so I will show you guys the next pair. Now, I did want to bring an Air Jordan 1 low because when I rock shorts with long socks, I wanted to wear an Air Jordan 1 low. So I opted to bust out these Air Jordan 1 low Royal Toes. These came out back in 2018, I believe. At the time, these things were sitting, but the mm -hmm. resale prices on these are absolutely crazy. Two questions. Is yes. this your first time in LA? It is my first time first in Los time. Angeles. Okay, and second question, is there any content you're looking forward to make while here? Bro, we're gonna be going to all the sneaker shops. We're gonna be doing some sneaker shopping, some, some shopping vlogs. We're gonna be making so much vertical content, TikTok, <laughs> IG Reels, YouTube Shorts, all that good stuff. If you guys wanna stay tuned and watch all that stuff, make sure you guys subscribe to everybody's channel who is currently staying in this content house. Jordan Stamina. 
What kicks did you bring on this trip? So first and foremost, I had to go with the Starfish Lows. Ooh, okay, okay. These are honestly one of my favorite sneakers of the year. Yeah. Well, last year. I actually got them in LA last time I was here. Oh, so this is not your first time? This is my third time. You're a veteran, basically, yes, at sir. this point. Okay. I got these at Band LA. I got the Pine the Green pine Lows. Green. This is one of my favorite shoes of all time. Mm -hmm. And is that it? Is there one more pair? I got one more pair. One more pair. Other than the easy slides, of course. You got the slides too, okay? We the hospital slides. have the neutral gray lows. Super oh, just simple. like Danny. Danny had those too. Right? Super simple but effective and it can go with every outfit. So it's super versatile. And what are you looking forward to doing the most while we're here in LA? This is like a YouTuber's trip. <laughs> like for sneakers and friends. So right now, I have a sponsorship at 2nd Street tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see what... You'll see the challenges. Baby, to control and I'ma feed you to the wolves when you get nasty back at me. But baby, don't distract me. I'm a goner. I lost the like why the hell you want to Day after our uh, Walmart adventure, we got so much groceries, so much that I actually I, I just don't want to show you guys. It's it's overwhelming. I hardly had room in the back seat of our like massive SUV to sit down, uh, but right now we're just munching on some breakfast right now. The homies went to like Jack in the Box earlier. I needed to shower because I was like exhausted after 24 hours of traveling and stuff yesterday. I feel like I'm in Japan because this was like one of my go-tos when I was in Japan for my first couple of trips. But yo, for today's agenda, we're gonna be doing some sneaker shopping on Melrose. Now, if you guys don't know about Melrose, you probably don't watch too much sneaker YouTube, but it's like one of the main streets for sneaker shopping in LA. And apparently it's pretty dangerous too. Like I, I might get robbed. Tim keeps telling me, yo, be careful. Careful. There's a lot of robberies out there. So Tim, I will be looking, I'll be looking out, okay? I'll, I'll be on red alert. We're gonna go to a bunch of just random stores. I really don't have too much planned. We're just gonna go with the flow, have a fun time. I can't believe I'm traveling the world, doing sneaker shopping content again, and just, just traveling in general, and making some fun vlogs. Just pulled up to Melrose and uh, there's so many stores to go sneaker shopping at here. Uh, we are also gonna do a dedicated like fun thrifting vlog. So the store Second Street is here right behind me and I've been to some of their locations in Japan. So that'd be a lot of fun to see what they have sitting in LA. Cause you guys know LA has so much cheap clothing as well. LA's to Chicago one's on feet. So I think we're gonna take a cool little photo in front of this mural and it's a good time. It feels really funny to be vlogging again in LA especially in January because I'm like I was I was freezing cold in Canada the other day I don't need to wear a winter jacket while we're out here We came early like all the stores here open up at 11 a.m. Jordan wanted to get here at 10 a.m. because he wants to get like first dibs at all the cool stuff inside of Second Street because he's doing like a little brand deal with them There are so many Jordan 1s here. Holy smokes. Like this already looks really cool, but if they filled up like literally everything, that would just be incredible. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many 1s here. One of my favorite ones I used to own that I kind of regret selling, Dave White 1s. One of the first times they actually like messed around with the swoosh and stuff. We got a size 12 here for 350. I wonder if they have the box because the box is also really cool for these two. These are so wild, man. This is like a crazy, crazy Jordan 1. Size 9 going for 600 US. Dollars. I like Jay Balvin, but I don't like him enough to buy a Jordan 1. I could wear this maybe like once a year. This is such a such a freaking outlandish kind of Jordan 1. I still remember these sitting everywhere. I think I bought a few pairs of these, the Jim Red 1s. They're even sitting in the Philippines too, where I think uh, I think Tom bought a pair there maybe. I forget. They have a used pair for 350 This was one of my biggest come ups. I think when I bought like three or four pairs of these. They also have the Dark Marina Blues here as well. These don't come out for at least another couple of weeks. Is this a used pair? Size 8.5 for 600 dollars but there's like creasing and stuff all over the toe box it's a 
There's no way these are going for 600. That's, that, that'd be way too much if it is. So one thing I like though is when they do have a lot of like used Jordan ones because you have a chance at got, getting them for like a, a discount in comparison to some like new pairs. So we have five youth here for $500. That's 10.5 for $500. Ooh, the quality on these is actually pretty, pretty nice. I've actually never held these in person. Not too often you find a pretty decent selection of Bapestas. So let's just take a look at the, uh, the Bapestas they have. Size 12, 550. I used to have these. We bought a bunch of these for retail in Japan. Don't have them anymore. They have a size seven for 600. They got this white, like teal mint pair, blue pair, size 12, 550. So it's pretty standard pricing. These are also new as well. These came out. I can't find the price for these ones. Definitely a color I think I'd like want to get my girl. Like this is a really clean colorway for a girl. They also have these right here. These are like a Halloween themed babe stuff for size, uh, size nine, 500 US dollars. Oh, the babes to star there is actually really, really cool looking. I like how it's like a glimmer to it. That's really, really cool. These are pretty fire. I have like a Frankenstein pumpkin kind of vibe they also have a million pairs of the triple white supreme air force one lows same with the black pair i prefer the white pair you know really clean i haven't had a triple pair triple pair triple white pair of air force one lows in a long time they want 320 per pair that's a bit much i'd rather just you know I'll, I'll get a classic just all white don't need the supreme label on them they also have a bunch of these strange looking like dunk air force ones with a flame instead of a swoosh not sure i've never seen these before naf that's the, the what they have on the side there the tag going for 180 so this is like a christmas air force one inspired sneaker what else we got this red white and blue one for fourth of the july so they're all like themed for a certain kind of thing what about this black and red pair i used to have nike dunks the exact same colorway and color blocking as these but just as a high top i think i was like 15 or 16 at the time these look exactly like a pair of dunks i think we saw earlier at round two or earlier in the store at the other half we got the yeah skunk 420 dunks size 8 180 but with the flames interesting very very interesting how do you guys feel about like air force one and nike dunk like rip off sneakers just with subtle changes to the swooshes or the tags i'm not really a fan i'd rather just get the original but uh if there's like cool storytelling and stuff to it i might be down with it but these ones are gonna have to be a pass for me and then over here they have like a high top version kind of reminds me of like bbc oh it's like a jordan one this is like a Jordan 1 uh, kind of kind of shoe. Cookies and cream. It could be a cookies and cream <laughs> Air Jordan 1. Uh, let's see. Ice cream cake size 9. Scoops. That's interesting. I think I just found like the Grail case. They have a bunch of cool stuff in here. Check it out, I got the Off-White Air Jordan 2 Lows that are, oh, they already came out. What am I saying? They already came out, but like just seeing them here, oh, that's that's nice. They got the Supreme Dunk Lows as well and a bunch of the uh, colorways that released a lot of blue pairs for some reason. Up here, we got what looks like to be a sample pair of, uh, of shoes. Well, it has like flames on the side. Interesting. What are these? I have no idea what those ones are. The Dior's, they have these cool dunks as well. And these Yeezys, oh my gosh, absolute grail status. Here's a look at some of the uh, like non-hyped up pairs or pre-owned pairs. Like this is clearly a hyped up pair. These are like beat up pairs, I guess, without the boxes. The NMD Hue green pair, 6.5 going for 200 US dollars. That's actually a pretty, really good condition for 200 US dollars. Dunks right here, these are interesting. These are the Unlucky pre-owned. They used to be 500, now they're going for 300. These ones are so sick, I love these ones. They're going for 650, the Paranoise Air Force One Low G-Dragon, size 4.5. You got the Fear of God joints here as well, size 8.5, going for $500. Doran Becker 5s here, okay. 450 for the size 10.5, no box for these ones. Oh man, I remember when these were super popular, the whole lab series that Jordan Brand was doing. These were probably one of the better ones, honestly. We have the yeah, the three lab five infrared size 12 going for 400 us dollars so for our final store of the day we're going to stop by bait real quick now unfortunately you can't really film inside i did take a couple of photos so i'll show you guys the photos Jordan just copped a pair of Jordan 1s for retail. So I want to show you guys what they are. What size did you end up getting, man? Nine and a half by size. Nine and a half Nine sitting and a half. in LA. The Bordeaux. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, like, okay. You know what, honestly, man, this is, it's a good shoe. It's underrated. And I got it for under Canadian retail, so. Yeah. There you go. That's can't go wrong. And I've been looking for a shoe all day.
All right, so after a long day of vlogging, we're here finally for dinner at In-N-Out. I haven't had In-N-Out in like three or four years. All right, we got the In-N-Out right here. We got a number two. Let's see how it goes. I'll give the fries a solid like seven. Eight out of ten. They're okay. I didn't get the animal fries. Probably should have got those. In terms of the burger, it's all right. I give it an eight. But I'm sorry for all my people out there. I think Five Guys is better than In and Out. Sonny. 